Since we released quite a few videos about old Soviet gas masks, many people have been asking the same question over and over again. Are the Soviet filters safe? First, this thing is ancient and I seriously doubt the activated carbon inside retained any protective properties. In contaminated area, it may last for 5, 10, maybe even 30 minutes, but I would rather avoid this kind of testing. Now, the presence of asbestos fibers in the particle filtration layer of old filters is not limited to Soviet filters only. It has been used in the UK, Germany, but also in other countries. That's how things were done back then, and the GP5 filters are just the most famous. Everyone knows for a fact that inhalation of asbestos fibers when for example dismantling old roofs poses a serious health risk, so people are naturally wary when they learn about asbestos in filters that came with their GP5 gas mask. My stance on using old filters in general is quite straightforward. Asbestos or not, you can't consider outdated filters a reliable source of protection. We only use old filters, such as the GP5 one, as props for our videos, but I would never breathe through it. Would I die of lung cancer in 20 years or so? Probably not. But this is a channel about personal protection and not jackass. Hi, my name is Andrei and today I will breathe asbestos. Can the loosened asbestos fibers fall off the filter that has been damaged or simply due to deterioration of the materials? We don't know, but it's possible. Can the loosened asbestos fibers from the particle filtration layer pass through the activated carbon and enter the wearer's respiratory tract? No idea, but it seems plausible. There is simply not enough research-based evidence to make any conclusion other than avoid. Because why bother?